Have you ever wondered where in the universe we might find alien life? What if it's in the twilight fringe of tidally locked planets? A tidally locked planet is one that has one side perpetually facing its host star, much like how our moon only shows us one of its faces. For these planets, the transition from night to day isn't as simple as waiting for the sun to rise or set. Instead, you'd have to travel halfway around the world. Now you may be thinking, that sounds pretty extreme, how could anything survive there? Well, that's the question that has been puzzling scientists for years. But in 2023, a study published in the Astrophysics Journal suggested that life could, in fact, exist in these harsh conditions. The key to this theory is the so-called Terminator Zones, the boundary between the perpetually sunlit side and the eternal night side of these tidally locked planets. The Terminator Zone is a realm of permanent twilight, where the sun hovers perpetually on the horizon. It's an area that experiences neither the scorching heat of the day side nor the freezing cold of the night side. Imagine the Terminator Zone as a kind of Goldilocks region, not too hot, not too cold, but just right for life as we know it to exist. The temperature would be stable and the light levels would be low but constant. It's a strange idea, but it's one that makes a certain kind of sense. The concept of life in the Terminator Zone is a fascinating one. It forces us to rethink our ideas about what conditions are necessary for life. We're used to thinking of life as needing a day-night cycle like Earth's, but that might not be the case. Life on other planets might have adapted to very different conditions. Of course, this is all theoretical. We don't yet have the technology to directly observe these Terminator zones on distant exoplanets. But every theory starts with an idea, and this one is as intriguing as they come, and who knows? As our technology progresses, we might one day be able to peek into these twilight worlds and see if anything is looking back at us. We might find that these seemingly inhospitable worlds are teeming with life, life that has found a way to thrive in the twilight. So, while we might think of life as needing a day-night cycle like Earth's, the truth could be far more intriguing. The universe is a vast and varied place, and life, as they say, finds a way. Perhaps in the future, we'll find that the Terminator zones of tidally locked planets are not just potential homes for alien life, but thriving ecosystems, bustling with activity in the perpetual twilight. As we continue our search for life beyond Earth, one thing is certain. The universe never ceases to amaze. Imagine witnessing a star's final act, a violent explosion visible from 25 million light years away. Could this be an interstellar signpost pointing us to alien life? In early 2023, astronomers were treated to a celestial spectacle in the galaxy Messier 101. A star, after billions of years of cosmic churning and fusion, ended its life in a dramatic display of cosmic fireworks, a Type II supernova. The explosion was so intense, so vibrant, that it was observable all the way from our little blue planet, 25 million light years away. A Type II supernova is no ordinary event. It's the death throes of a massive star, a star much bigger than our sun. When such a star exhausts its nuclear fuel, it collapses under its own gravity, triggering a shock wave that blasts its outer layers into space. The result is a brilliant burst of light and energy, a beacon that can be seen across the cosmos. This got scientists thinking, what if this wasn't just a random celestial event? What if it was a signal, a message from an advanced civilization? Now that's a wild idea, right? But let's indulge in this thought experiment for a moment. Imagine a civilization that's advanced enough to predict these cosmic fireworks. They know that the death of a star is a spectacle that's hard to miss, especially for any civilization with a keen interest in the cosmos, like us. They could use this event, knowing that it would draw the gaze of distant observers as a beacon to highlight their existence. Following this line of thought, some scientists proposed a rather intriguing idea. They suggested searching the area around the supernova for star systems with potentially habitable planets. The rationale is simple yet profound. If there's an advanced civilization out there, they might be residing on one of these planets using the supernova as a cosmic lighthouse to signal their presence. But how would they send their message across such vast cosmic distances? Well, they could modulate the light from the supernova in a specific pattern or use the supernova's energy to power a beacon that sends out signals. The possibilities are as endless as the universe itself. Of course, this is all speculative, but it's a speculation that's rooted in scientific curiosity, 
and the relentless human desire to answer one of our oldest questions. Are we alone in the universe? Our search for extraterrestrial life has largely been focused on finding planets that are similar to Earth in what we call the habitable zone around a star. But perhaps we need to think outside the box, or in this case, outside our galaxy. After all, if there's intelligent life out there, they might not think or communicate in ways we can currently comprehend. They might be using the universe itself as their canvas, painting their messages in the stars. The universal language might be less about words and more about cataclysmic events. What if the center of our galaxy held the key to finding alien life? Imagine, if you will, civilizations thriving not on the fringes of the Milky Way, but right at its bustling core. It's a theory that's been gaining traction among the scientific community, and it certainly paints an intriguing picture. Now, why the core, you might ask? Well, it's quite simple. Aliens situated at the heart of our galaxy would be in a privileged position to catch our attention. They'd have the ability to reach a vast swath of space by fanning signals outward. Like a pebble thrown into a pond, the ripples would travel far and wide, increasing the chances of their signals reaching distant corners of the galaxy, including our own little blue planet. In fact, it's such a compelling idea that some scientists are turning their search for extraterrestrial life to the middle of the Milky Way. The core, with its dense congregation of stars, could potentially be a hotbed for life. Now let's delve a little deeper into this theory. In a recent study published in the Astronomical Journal, Scientists reported listening for any narrow-frequency pulses coming from this region of our galaxy. These pulses are used by humans in radar and stand out against the background radio noise in space. Think about it like this. You're in a crowded room and everyone's talking at once. But then, someone starts tapping a spoon against a glass. That distinct sound cuts through the noise and immediately grabs your attention. That's what these narrow-frequency pulses are like amidst the cosmic chatter. Distinct, clear, and hard to miss. If there are civilizations at the core of our galaxy, they might be using these types of signals to communicate, and if we're lucky, we might just be able to pick up on them. But as with all things in science, this is a theory that comes with its own set of challenges. The core of the Milky Way is a bustling place, packed with stars and all the cosmic noise they generate. It's like trying to hear a whisper in the middle of a rock concert. But despite these challenges, scientists are hopeful. After all, the search for extraterrestrial life is all about pushing boundaries and looking where no one has looked before. So the next time you look up at the night sky, remember this. Somewhere in the heart of that twinkling band of stars we call the Milky Way, there might just be someone looking back. And who knows? They might be trying to get our attention, sending out signals in the hopes that someone, somewhere, will hear them. In the heart of the Milky Way, we might just find the pulse of alien life. So, let's keep listening and perhaps one day we'll hear the cosmic whisper we've been waiting for. 40 light years away orbits a planet dubbed the most exciting exoplanet of the decade. Could LHS 1140b be our next cosmic neighbor? LHS 1140b, a planet that has sparked the interest of scientists and space enthusiasts alike, is nestled in the constellation of Cetus. This intriguing world orbits a star that is a mere one-fifth the size of our sun and receives less than half the light that Earth does. But don't let that dim light fool you. The potential for life as we know it could very well exist in this distant corner of the universe. While this planet isn't dense enough to be purely rocky, researchers believe it could hold abundant liquid water or an atmosphere teeming with light elements. Imagine a world where the sky is filled not just with clouds of water vapor, but also with clouds of helium, hydrogen, or even methane. The possibilities are as endless as they are fascinating. But why is LHS 1140b considered the most exciting exoplanet of the decade? Well, it's all about location, location, location. This exoplanet is situated in the habitable zone of its star, a region also known as the Goldilocks zone. It's not too hot, it's not too cold, it's just right for the existence of liquid water on the planet's surface. This makes LHS 1140 be a prime candidate for the search for extraterrestrial life. The excitement around LHS 1140 b doesn't end there. This planet is also tidally locked, much like our moon is to the Earth. This means one side of the planet is always in daylight, while the other is in perpetual darkness. This creates a stark contrast between the two hemispheres, which could result in unique and diverse ecosystems. Scientists are eager to learn more about this intriguing world. 
enter the James Webb Space Telescope. This next-generation space observatory, set to be launched in the near future, will provide us with a deeper understanding of our cosmic neighborhood. With its advanced instruments, the James Webb Space Telescope will peer into the atmosphere of LHS 1140b, allowing scientists to analyze its composition and determine whether the conditions for life exist. The discovery of LHS 1140b has redefined our understanding of exoplanets and has brought us one step closer to answering the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? As we continue to explore the cosmos, each new discovery brings a sense of awe and wonder. Each new world we uncover broadens our perspective and deepens our understanding of our place in the universe. In the vastness of space, LHS 1140b stands out as a beacon of intriguing possibilities. This most exciting exoplanet of the decade holds the promise of new discoveries and the potential to reshape our understanding of life beyond our own world. As we peer into the cosmos, the mystery of LHS 1140b beckons us to keep exploring, to keep questioning, and to keep pushing the boundaries of our knowledge. In the vastness of space, LHS 1140b stands out as a beacon of intriguing possibilities. Just 4.2 light years away, Proxima b is our closest known exoplanet. Could this be the home of our interstellar neighbors? A fascinating question, isn't it? Well, let's dive into it. Proxima b has been the subject of intense scientific scrutiny since it was discovered. Its proximity to us makes it not only a compelling subject of study, but also a tantalizing prospect for future interstellar exploration. One of the most intriguing aspects of Proxima b is its tidally locked nature. What does that mean exactly? Well, imagine if one side of your world was forever bathed in daylight, while the other was perpetually cloaked in night. That's the reality for Proxima b. This planet is tidally locked with its host star, Proxima Centauri. The same side of the planet always faces the star, resulting in a constant day on one side and a constant night on the other. Now you might be thinking, doesn't that make the planet uninhabitable? Well, not necessarily. Although the conditions on a tidally locked planet are extreme, life could potentially thrive in the so-called Terminator Zone, the boundary between the planet's eternal day and everlasting night. In this region, the temperatures could be just right for liquid water to exist, a key ingredient for life as we know it. Speaking of water, Proxima b is located within the habitable zone of its host star. This is the region around a star where conditions could be just right for liquid water to exist on a planet's surface. It implies that Proxima b might have liquid water, another check in the box for potentially life-sustaining conditions. However, life on Proxima b, if it exists, would have to be incredibly resilient. The planet is subject to intense radiation from its host star. This radiation could potentially strip away the planet's atmosphere, making the surface inhospitable. But there's always a silver lining. This intense radiation could also create conditions conducive to the development of complex organic molecules, the building blocks of life. So, what's the verdict? Could Proxima b be home to our interstellar neighbors? Well, the truth is we just don't know yet. The possibility is tantalizing, but we need more data to either confirm or refute it. Future missions, like those involving the James Webb Space Telescope, will provide us with a clearer picture of what conditions on Proxima b are really like. In the meantime, it's fascinating to speculate, isn't it? To imagine what life, if any, might exist on this nearby world. Perhaps it's full of extremophiles, organisms that can withstand the harsh radiation and extreme conditions. Or maybe, just maybe, it's home to a civilization like ours, looking up at the stars and wondering if they're alone in the universe. Proxima b, a stone's throw away in cosmic terms, might hold the key to answering one of humanity's oldest questions. Are we alone?